Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to our episode from Analog.com. Today I'm looking at a watch, a Pebble Steel. Now this is a smartwatch, and I've looked at smartwatches before, such as the Galaxy Gear. I sometimes even consider the Fitbit Force a bit of a smartwatch as well, because it kind of is. This one's a little different. So let's go through exactly what it is. It's a Bluetooth watch that connects to iOS or Android. That's a good plus straight away, I like that. Now, it doesn't have an LCD display or a color display at all. It actually runs an e-ink um, display, similar to what you see on an Amazon Kindle. Um, you know, it is just all black and white, essentially, but that helps also with improving battery life. And you know what? I, when I was reviewing the gear, I didn't really need an LCD display on my wrist. That's not really what I need it for, like viewing pictures and video, right? So that was one thing. Um, it is still water resistant. It's actually, it's classified as 5 ATM. Now, ATM means atmosphere and 5 is a measurement for some reason as 50. So it's essentially 50 meters water resistant. You could take it swimming, you could take it in a shower, you could take it running and get it wet from sweating and things like that. It's not recommended for snorkeling and deep diving, so keep that in mind. I didn't take mine in the shower just because I, when you spend 250 bucks on something, I don't really want to ruin it and I don't need to tell the time in the shower. I just don't. But that's still good to know. It weighs 56 grams, so it's not terribly heavy at all. It feels like a normal digital watch. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and that's a big plus is that it's a smartwatch that actually looks like a normal watch. And to be honest, I haven't had a lot of attention from people who've seen me wear it. When I wore the Galaxy Gear, I had a lot more people saying, hey, what, what is that? beastly looking thing on your wrist. They didn't ask me that with this and people, I just sort of tell people, hey, look at my watch. They didn't just notice. Now that's an interesting point. Also, around five to seven days of battery life, I was getting around the five mark. I didn't see seven. And I think it actually has a big thing to do with how many notifications you have pushing from your phone to your, uh, to your Pebble and also what sort of watch face you're using because depending on the watch face you're using more ink is being used to do the display and that could have an impact on battery life as well. I also started to turn mine off in the evenings. It's very easy to turn off and on and very quick to turn off and on. So I started shutting the, the, uh, the pebble down when I went to sleep. Why not? I didn't need it to be on and it was so simple to do. Also, in full sunlight, I can tell the time. That's the biggest benefit of e-ink displays. I can look at it in full light, in the dark. It's got a backlit display in the evening. It does detect when it's dark. Love that. And uh, and you can sort of, it comes on and you can be able to see the time. No problem. Read text, read emails, whatever you like. It was all happening easily. Now, I mentioned that it displays notifications. So, for example, mine was paired with an iPhone and any notification that would normally appear on your lock screen or which would drop off from the, from the top tray will actually appear on here. Emails, SMS, um, whatever application you choose to push to the Pebble will also do that. Um, Snapchats, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, I pushed everything. And it was really interesting, I could then go into notifications on my uh, on my Pebble and I'd go through them and sometimes you could read enough that you didn't actually need to go to the phone. You could just go, nah, nah, nah. okay, cool, not interested, bye. Um, on the left side is a button to turn the turn the thing on and navigate backwards. And then on this side, you've got three buttons, um, up, up, down, sort of, and one in the middle for selecting things. Navigation on this is super simple. Um, you do have a section for music. So if you're playing music on your iPhone or Android device, you can go into music here, see the song that's playing, and pause and skip and things like that. I love that because when I'm driving, my phone is in my glove box playing music. I don't want to reach into there to control it. I can do it on my wrist and that's kind of cool. Or even if you're running, you can do it as well. And that's handy. Um, I also mentioned uh, improvements. The, one of the improvements from the previous Pebble, this now has Gorilla Glass on the front. So I'm not going to worry too much about it getting scratched. Two big things, not worry about getting it scratched, not worry about getting it wet. They're big things to have when you're spending $250 on a watch. Good. Also, um, it at the front, just you'll see the Pebble logo. For me, this is one of the, not a downfall, but it's, it's a why moment for me. It's like, why did you need to put a big Pebble logo? You're not Rolex. No one's going to be, you know, strutting around going, hey, look at my big Pebble symbol on the front. And it just takes up part of the screen that probably didn't need to as well. I really think that Pebble don't need to advertise on the front of my watch. They could put it on the side. They could put it in very small print. The fact is that if someone is interested in what I'm wearing, I will tell them that it's a Pebble smartwatch. I don't need it to be on the watch. I know it's a Pebble watch because I bought it. 
So a bit of feedback there, Pebble. Don't put the logo on there. We don't need it. Simple as that. Um, I love the fact that it supports iOS and Android. It does have a good variety of apps that you can get for the uh, for the Pebble. The Pebble Steel works the exact same apps as the previous Pebble. You don't have to worry about um, one or the other. They will run the same apps. Now, I say the apps, a lot of them are companion apps, so things like RunKeeper, Evernote, and whatnot, they already run on your smartphone, and this is a companion app to view and manage those applications. Not many of them, or many of the good ones, uh, solely run on the Pebble. There are some apps you can get just that run on the Pebble, but they're not amazing. So just keep that in mind, that if you are looking to buy one, um, a lot of the apps that you use, think about how you can extend that environment onto your wrist. And if you can, if you can visualize that, such as looking at your Evernote um, on here, or controlling your run, or viewing that how, much you've, how long you've run for, that sort of stuff is really interesting here. That's a good point. Controlling the music is fantastic. Controlling calls as well. So if I am driving and I've got my Bluetooth earpiece in, for example, and the phone's ringing, I will see it on my watch and I can push the button to answer the call or reject the call. Also handy for if you're in meetings, you can see who's calling and you can just ignore it or whatever you need to do. It's pull your phone out and things like that. I loved it. I also found that despite wearing the watch, my phone battery life was then extended because I wasn't pulling my phone out all the time just to see what this one message was or this one email was or who it was from. You know, when I get those spammy emails, I didn't have to turn my phone on to see it and delete it. I just looked at my watch and went, it's nothing, I can keep moving about my day. One of the things you'll notice is I'm continually doing this to check what's on my screen. Now, if you're watching me or we're in a meeting, you're probably thinking, hey, well, is he focusing on me? He just keeps doing this. I mean, if he's more interested or he's got somewhere else to be, then why doesn't he just go? That's one of the problems with it, is that socially, it's not an acceptable device. Um, and that's smartwatches in general. That The more you can actually see on the watch, the worse it is for social interactions. So if I'm talking to you and my phone is ringing, um, I could just ignore it, or I could look at my wrist and see who's calling, but by doing that, I've taken away our attention and you think that I have somewhere else I want to be. And that's a problem. So if, even if it's just an SMS or you're at dinner and something like that, SMS pops through, you think, I'm so glad I've got this. I look so much more polite just checking this than pulling my phone out at dinner. Well, essentially you're checking the time. So if you're on a date and you do this, you're going home. That's, that's, that's it straight up. And that's a real shame. It will take time for that social change to occur. Um, if they know what you're actually doing, they might understand more, but that's an interesting point there as well. Um, I have got the leather band on here. It does come with a steel one. They come with both. Um, for the purpose of the trial, I just wanted to leave the one band on there. I'm not, I'm going to take my watch, I'm going to take it to a watchmaker to actually change over and fit the metal band for me. I just didn't want to do it myself in fear of breaking it. And I wanted to just focus on the review, focus on what's inside the watch than what's the bands. Big deal about the bands to me. Um, I will say though that the leather band is premium. The steel band feels really premium as well. And I will be switching to that as, as a more permanent um, wristband. So... I do like the Pebble Steel. I think they've priced it correctly. It's about $100 less than the Galaxy Gear, um, but it, it should be as well because it doesn't have a camera and things that you don't actually need. But I do think that this is the best smartwatch on the market. I think very close second is the Fitbit Force. The reason the Fitbit Force is just not that much, not quite there yet, is because it doesn't display all those notifications on that very small screen. They've done the right size of watch. It's not huge, it's not tiny. I can read it everywhere I'm going. The battery lasts long enough, and they've priced it correctly. The fact that it's water resistant, it's light, those things make a big difference to me, and uh, you'll have to tell me if they make a big difference to you. That's the Pebble Steel. I am pretty impressed with my, uh, my purchasing decision. This is not a review unit. I bought this uh, once I heard about it, and I'm kind of glad. I'm happy with what I've ended up with. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.